Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to write our first Python code. So we are using the PyCharm IDE for our Python projects. So when you open your PyCharm for the first time, you will get the screen like this. Then you can click on this create new project. Here you give the location of that project. So I'm going to use this default location, but I'm going to change my name of the project. So let's say day one and create. Now it will set up all the virtual environment for your Python project. Okay, so this is my project name day one. And in this day one, I can create a new file for my project. Right click on it, new, and then Python file. So let's create a file named first program. And the extension of the Python file will be .py or .py. So the name of Python file will always end with the .py extension. So here we have first program.py. And as you know, the first step in learning any language is to print the hello world on your screen. And in Python, printing the hello world is extremely easy. It just takes one line of code. So to print hello world, we can type print. And then in the parenthesis, we can type hello world. And that's it. So this code will print hello world on the console. And now to run this code, we can go to run menu and then click on run first program and this is the name of our file and you can also use the shortcut key that is shift plus F10 so either you can use the shortcut that is pressing the shift and F10 at the same time or you can just click here run first program so I'm gonna click here and then it will print the hello world on the console so to print or to display anything in Python we use the print function so we can print anything let's say hello universe and now if I hit run then it will print both of those code so hello world and hello universe now let's see some of the cool tricks that we can use with the print function okay so here if we separate these two words so hello and then comma and world so here we are going to print hello comma world so let's see what the output will be okay so as you can see there is no change it just printed hello world but this comma is used to separate the values so here we have two values hello and world and using comma we are separating these two values and the default separator in print function is the space so that's why when we used comma it separated these two values with the space so that's why there is a space between hello and world but we can give our own separator so for that we are going to give the third value or the third parameters that is SEP or separator equals now let's say we give plus as the separator so now we are saying that we want to use this plus sign as the separator so here we have two values we want to display hello and world and when we use plus as the separator then there should be the plus sign between hello and world so now if we run this code then as you can see there is hello plus world so here in the separator we can give any value so let's give the pipe sign or pipe symbol now it will use this pipe as the separator between these two values so it is one of the cool features that we can use with print okay so now let's see another trick of print function okay so now let's print hello and then print world on the another line so now if we run the command then you can see it printed hello 
and then it printed world on the next line. So when we use the print function, it will automatically create the next line or the new line. So here, when we used print hello, then this print function automatically created the new line. And that's why when we printed world, it displayed on the new line. And we can also fix this. So let's say if you don't want the print function to generate the new line, what you can do is just like the sep parameter, we can use int parameter. So int equals, let's just give the space. So now what we are saying here is in this print function, at the end of this uh, print function, instead of creating the new line, just create or just give a space. So now if we run the code, then as you can see, the world is printed on the same line. But let's say if we again print something else, so let's say take vitals and if we run the code again, then hello and world are at the same line, but take vitals is in the next line because this print function still creates the new line because we haven't set up this int parameter in this print. So if we give this int parameter in this print function too, and try to run the program. Now the take vitals is also printed in the same line. So this int parameter can really help us to define how do we want to display or how do we want to use the print function. Now let's move on to the next trick. So if we print hello and at the same line if we try to print another word then if you try to run this here we get the syntax error that is because we can't use the multiple print at the same line but if you want to use multiple print at the same line we can simply give comma so now even if they are at the same line it works so hello and world and using comma we can give as much print as we like so we won't get the error using the comma okay so again hello world so it will print hello world but let's say using the single print function we want to print hello on the first line and world on the next line then how can we do that so to create the new line within the print function we can use the escape character so escape character or the escape sequence is something that the python ignores that is not treated as the python code and escape character always starts with the backslash and to create the new line the escape character that we use is backslash n so here what we are saying is first print hello and then this backslash n is saying the python to create a new line and after creating the new line the world should be printed so before using this escape character hello world was printing on the same line but now since we have added this backslash n in between these two values now there must be a line break between those two so if you try to run it then now hello is printing on the first line and then the world is printing on the next line like uh, backslash n we can also use backslash t and it will just add a tab between these two values so it will create some space so if we try to run it then as you can see there is the gap of one tab so there is certain space between hello and world if we give one more slash t then the space will be even bigger so let's try to run this and as you can see now the gap is much larger so that's the escape sequence now let's try to print something 
that takes multiple lines so let's say I want to print hello everyone welcome to take vitals this is the first lesson of Python language okay so here we want to print all these values in the same way so hello everyone then in the next line welcome to take vitals and then in another line this is the first lesson of Python so if we try to run this here we can see all these values or all these words are printed on the same line but we want to print it just like this so hello everyone and then welcome to take vitals on the next line and this is the first lesson of Python language in the third line so to do it what we can do is first let's remove all these double quotes and we have to use three double quotes or single quotes so one two three and then close it with three double quotes now when we try to run this as you can see it is printing in the same manner that we just wrote here so if we put it at the beginning and run it then now it is on the different lines and instead of this double quotes we can also use the single quotes like this so that's gonna work the same way so if you try to run it then it will just print the same thing okay so that's how we use print function and that was our beginning code hello world and in case you're wondering why are we using this double quote then to print the string characters or the words so hello and world these are the words and we call them strings so one two three four they are the numbers or we can also call them integers and a b C D and so on they are the strings or rather this single letter is called character so this single a single B and single C these are the characters and the collection of characters is called a string so this hello world is the collection of characters it is the collection of H E L L O then we have space and then we have W O R L D so hello world is a string and these single letters are the characters so in Python or in most of the languages we use the double quotes or single quotes to display the string or characters and to display the numbers or integers we don't need to use those quotes so let's say if you just want to print one then we don't need to put this inside the quotes so we can just run it like this and it will print one and if we put this inside the single quote now this one will be treated as the string or the character so it will still print one but this one will be treated as the string not as the number so to get the better understanding of that let's say print 1 plus 2 so here we are not using the quotes so 1 plus 2 will be treated as the number or integer so it will print 3 because 1 plus 2 is 3 so let's run this so it printed 3 but if we put this 1 plus 2 inside the quote single quote or double quote doesn't matter now it will treat this 1 plus 2 as the string so instead of printing 3 it will just print 1 plus 2 so if we run this then as you can see we have this 
1 plus 2 because now this 1 and 2 are not getting treated as the numbers but they are getting treated as the string and let me give one more example so let's say we want to print 2 multiplied with 3 so 2 into 3 now since we are not using the quotes 2 and 3 will be treated as the numbers so 2 into 3 will be 6 so this code will print 6 but now let's make this 2 a string character and now if we print the string 2 and multiply it by 3 then let's see what the output will be so the output is 2 2 2 so here it is simply printing this 2 3 times so if we change this 3 into 4 then now it will print this 2 4 times so let's run this and now we can see 4 2's so that's the difference between string and number we will learn about integers and strings in detail in another video but I just wanted to show the difference while printing these two different data types so in this video we learned how to use the print function to display something into our program and we also learned some of the cool features and tricks that we can use with the print function in the next video we are going to learn about how to create the variables and store different values in the variables in the python language so till then keep learning Goodbye.